the Joe Rogan experience. What was your first appointment like? So my first one was with uh, the, a team out in Hawaii where we were doing submersible work. So I drove like a 22-foot mini sub for <laughs> five years. Really? Oh, yeah. And uh, we were doing some like waterborne activities. And How the, deep does it go? That's classified. Oh really? But yeah, uh, it, it can go. Fuck? It can go really deep. Yeah, but it's a it's a wet submarine. So what we're on we're on scuba. It's all like you're you're in the water, not just underwater. Oh really? Yeah. So you're wearing scuba gear while you're piloting this yep. thing. So the water gets in there. Yep. Whoa. It's like a. Y- you can probably pull up a picture of it. Bro, that's a mind fuck on top just of a mind fuck. SDV. Just being in a scuba is crazy, but being in a scuba gear inside of a fucking submarine with the door shut oh jesus christ <laughs> so how much air you got in there enough <laughs> <laughs> that's what it looks like there she Whoa, is oh that's nuts that's man. the boat oh so it's like a convertible it no no, no. so um behind those dudes yeah those doors are mm-hmm. sliders oh. so you shut them so because it can drive relatively fast where like if you had them open, like shit, it'd be like. Bro, that looks like this. something from a fucking James Bond movie. That doesn't. It even is look like real. something from a fucking James Bond movie. And That's like, crazy. When we train in the daytime, it is bananas. It is wild to drive that thing. I can only imagine. Because you're landing on the back of a submarine. <laughs> <laughs> it's 22 feet long. Ish. I. I mean, that's what I recall. Fucking a. That looks you can cool. See. It looks fake. It like if fake. I saw that in the movie, I'd be like, they don't have one of those. Yeah, that's bullshit. <laughs> It does, doesn't it? It's like a human torpedo. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like a fucking missile. It is. Fucking. It's pretty cool. Wow. So. That is wild. There's a ton of those things um, that other countries have. Like, they've been using submersibles since the First World War. No. You know, when so. did they first invent submarines? Oh, the First shit, World War? No, no. I think, I think the Revolutionary War, there was a guy that, like, paddles ass around in a, uh, in like a, I've seen like the, a I've barrel. It's like an oak shit, barrel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like crazy looking. Wow. It's like, I'm just going to go. Well, imagine the first gangster to fucking climb See? into a metal dick and <laughs> slide it into the ocean. He's like, I got this. Even the guys that went the deepest did it like in the 30s or 40s, and no one's been able to do that again. What? And they did it in some right. like weird. Yeah. Really? <laughs> and they had a window that was, like, yeah, it was like four inches across. Yeah. In, oh, and my it, God. I think it so cracked crazy. when they got to the bottom. Oh, like they no. Were, like, really? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. You imagine what? Because nobody did it before, so it's all just calculations up yeah. to the time you actually get down there. And then, then you think, like, back to your question, how much air do we got? Oh, my God. I guess we have enough. Oh, my God. Yeah, that, to me, freaks me out about more than anything in the water as a submarine. The idea of being in one of them tubes and sliding around and not being able to see using sonar. Boop, well, and you think boop. like, what's in the water? There's some big ass animals in the water. Big ass animals. Big ass animals. Yeah, all they have to do is bump you and create I've a little seen, stress fracture. I've seen whales and sharks and dolphins and all sorts of crazy shit down there. What kind of crazy shit? Oh man, we were on the bottom once and we saw this like scorpion crab looking thing like walking around on the ground. It was like this tall. Like we're, so, you're making a like like a Great Dane, yeah, really, but like a crab, a crab like Great Dane, underwater, underwater. This is ridiculous. I don't know what it was, but it was terrifying. Is like, it that's is that an undocumented animal? I'm sure it's documented. There's a bunch of those weird like spider crab looking things that walk around. Fuck. Well, they don't know what everything is in the ocean. They're right? constantly pulling up new shit. Yeah. Like, look at this thing. <laughs> it's like the size of a car. Like. <laughs> Well, what's really weird is those really, really old ones at the bottom that oh, people yeah. have. They, they only come up when you get like a tsunami washes them ashore. Have you ever seen those websites dedicated oh, yeah. to like the stuff that was in the Thailand tsunami? I go way down the rabbit hole on some of that crap. <laughs> those things don't even look real. Well, and they've pulled like, I think they recently got a uh, a whale that had a spear tip in it from like 200 years ago. Or 150 years ago, like so, it's a currently living whale. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. So 150 years ago, during the Moby Dick days, someone harpooned it. Yeah. And it lived. I'm. I think that I. I have heard this recently. Yeah. Wow. Dude, these animals are crazy. I mean, those Greenland sharks lived to be like 300 or something. No shit. Yeah. That's what they. Th- isn't that what they think that one? Of, that's one of the theories about the Loch Ness monster. That it might be uh, some sort of a landlocked Greenland shark. Yeah. Yeah. Or just people are full of shit. I'm going with number two. 
I'm going with number two. Like yeah. how you feel about Sasquatch, that's how I feel about that shit. I'm like, I've there's felt- enough scary shit out there yeah we don't need to make up a loch ness monster it doesn't make any sense no i just think that people see things in the water and then they exaggerate the size of them and then the next thing you know they're telling a story there's probably some shit in there like some eels i'm sure or maybe a sturgeon or something like that sturgeon are huge the size of this desk they're so big and if you saw one from a distance at night you would assume that that was a, a monster or an alligator gar alligator gar yeah oh here it is Scroll down, please, so I can see the title. Boom. Whale survives harpoon attack 130 years ago to become the world's oldest mammal. Look at that harpoon, too. Bowhead whale. I'm glad I wasn't full wow. shit. Wow. Embedded in his neck. Wow. Is that not insane? It was caught off Alaska. So how'd they catch it? It says, biologists claim the find helps prove the bowhead is the oldest living mammal on Earth. It says, a 13-centimeter arrow. Shaped fragment dates back to around 1880. Wow. Meaning the 50-ton whale had been coasting around with this freezing Arctic waters since the Victorian times. That's nuts, man. Wild. And since they never took calves, they estimated the bowhead was several years old when it was first shot and about 130 when it died last month. Oh, so it died. God damn. And it probably died because they caught it. I mean, they can't be good for it. Yeah, it's just weird how many different things they used to do with the whales. They used to turn them into lamps. Mm-hmm. They used to lamp oil and shit. They used to eat them. Yeah, they still do. 